Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. I'm back where we left off and uh, we freed Omega. It is done, I'm very proud. And uh, now let's move on to some more missions. So I want to go to this one next. The Corian fleet offers both technical specialists and support ships to assist with the Crucible. Meet the Corian admiral admirals and obtain their help in the war effort. Let's go get us some Corians support. <laughs> so, um, the Crucible. Let's find out where. Let's go. I'm very excited. Okay. Beautiful. I've got to check which one it is. <laughs> Here we go, speak with the Quarians. Beautiful. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians developed this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being, are being tight-beamed to the Normandy. Alright, off we go. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Lovely to see you again. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. God, this is not good timing. <laughs> your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our role to our own AI creations, the Geth. Okay, hey, but now's not the time. <laughs> we didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Uh... God, I don't know. What? I don't want to say either. Oh, God. Hmm. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Yeah. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? Yeah. Now? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. Oh no. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is. See, this is why y'all shouldn't have done it right now. If we're going to win, we are. Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? You've got to retreat, one hundred percent. Geth dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. <sighs> the Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes, cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat immediately. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Yes. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Tell ya. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy. Tali! Reporting for duty. My queen! Glad you could make it, Tali. Yay! Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. On it. Hey, girl! Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. Good for you. That you are. 
And you a bad bee. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, that's okay. It happens. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. That's what I like to hear, baby. Or much is left from this stupid war. Yeah, this is not the right time. The invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? Oh. I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. Yeah. That's I'll tough. get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. Okay. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Totally. Sure thing. You're my bestie. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Is it not here? Oh, yeah, it's somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Perseus Vale. Let's do it. Geth Dreadnought. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features, from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increased thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy. <laughs> yeah, true. And in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian's fleet appears minor at best. Let's go. Cool, we've got Tully and Gareth. Let's go. My boyfriend and my best friend. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a child. Okay. Let's um there we go. Modify your output. Guess what do we get? Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Good. Alrighty. Let's go. Ooh, baby. Yes. We'll shield it up. That's what we love to see. Cool. Let's go. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. Oh, fantastic. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. We need to get them to fleet. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> Take us in, Joker. <laughs> Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Okay. <laughs> Very specific. And however, I do not know that national anthem. Oh my god. This is chaos. My cyber warfare suite has accessed the docking portals. Yes, it is. Got this joker. Alright, once 
we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. Mm -hmm. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. Yay! And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. <laughs> as long as it's sterilized. <laughs> Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. Oh, you're so she sweet. Got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Watch yourself, Shepard. Shepard, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gone for my boyfriend. I see the free one. Pretty torn up though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Okay. Roger that, Commander. We'll Why everybody tries to my boyfriend? You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Okay. Another way in. I'll meet you guys there. Ride the controls and let the boarding party on. All right. This, do I not do something with this? Okay. I don't actually know where to go. It's the door up there, but do I get to it? Oh, here we go. Okay. Cool. Making my way. Clear to board. 
Nice. See any action? Not yet. I'm sure you can help me find them. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can get this open. Thank you. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Cool. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the lethal command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Zolarians. Expensive, but it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. <laughs> Hello. Let's put on my disruptor ammo. A new yes, armor piercing. There we go. Oh my god. Is that a mine? Sheesh. What is going on? Center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Oh, we got the Invisiboys. You. That's the last of them. Yes. Let's see if that console is operational. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. Great. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right. But how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. 
like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. Hell yeah. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the doors. Lovely. Oh, yeah, there could be cross hunters as well. Heads up, more on the way. How you doing, Garris? You okay? Oh, you're not okay, Tali. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Cool, where's the maintenance shaft? This? I don't know where the maintenance shaft is. Is that it? I've served on a lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. Definitely not. It shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. <laughs> yeah, against an enemy dreadnought. Combat drone would just float there making that noise. <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> I, yeah, I missed you too. <laughs> That's so funny. Garris is be treating her like a little sister. <laughs> Oh god. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. I need you to focus on fleeing. What the, what the hell? Wait for the next one. Why not? Here we go. Whoa! I didn't get out of the cover. Hold on, wait for that shockwave. Okay. Alright, let's. God damn! Get to some cover. There we go. Cover. Okay. Yo, these guys are intense. They truly are getting harder as we fight them. Shush, get down. Oh, 
Okay. Whew. Oh. Hard to know when a new wave's coming. Where is it and how do I get to it? Oh god. Damn. Cut that a little close. Yeah. Watch your shield. Stick to cover. Ooh. Hate you guys. Hate you rocket boys. the rocket boys okay oh dang it okay Oop. Actually, know where we go. Oh, here we go. Good. Okay. Oh boy. I'm all right. Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. Okay. Let's hope not. Oh, I was like, did it not register? Mm. 
definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Oh. Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Legion. Good to see you, Legion. We'll have you out of there in no time. Oh my god. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Well, I can take him out if he Legion is. helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way I would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good Aww. to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So, what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all uh. Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. Okay. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? Wow. No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Ooh. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll yeah. have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Oh, Let's just get I'm sorry, Tali. Um, where? How do I get there? What the heck? Hello? How did I... Um, okay. What the heck? How did I not get it? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Tali Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Han Gerl. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Legion, I'm so sorry. These are old machines. Alert! Get reinforcements incoming. The gas fleet is destabilized. Watch out! That the signal is offline. Civilian fleet, prepare to withdraw. The patrol fleet will cover you once the heavy fleet is in position. Whenever you're ready, Admiral Carroll. Good. Let's see what the quarries can do. Oh my God! Get down. Get the freak down. Okay. I thought I could get to um your boy.
on. There we go. He's down. No, no. Don't you dare. Withdraw. With us on board. You're psychotic. Legion, do you need help? No, what? The? How do we not get to control this? Tali, what is going on? Shepard Commander, the creature fleet is firing upon this vessel. Oh. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Get to transmit intelligence is via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? <laughs> What is oh? Taking control of Damn. Warrior bastards. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> said that right next to Tali. <laughs> Thank you, Legion. Nope. Please help. We're leaving in a gas fighter. Transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go. Thank you, Legion. you guys to flee they fired on the dreadnought <sighs> while you were on board yes they were supposed to pull their fleet out safely instead i know admiral garrow has been causing trouble along the turian border for years but i can understand their desperation we only lost earth a few weeks back we haven't lost earth yet we need help shepherd we need a fleet and the corians have the biggest one out there i'll get it admiral <laughs> Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Tali Zora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. You're out of control. That was insane and I reckless. That you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. Yes. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. <clears throat> I knew it was just going to be a punch, so. You jeopardized your mission and your people. Get she went the hell like that. Off my ship. Shepard, 
I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reapers. I know, but... You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hot. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? <laughs> wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. And turn the off the Reaper. Using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating protocol. Tully. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. No. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feeling? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion I'm getting real story. tired of this BS. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits are off the table. So take that. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. Uh. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Legion. Beautiful. The guest recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Exactly. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. Okay. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. Right now we can only afford what trust. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them, if he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Wow. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. Wow. In the meantime, Y'all are doing hella war crimes. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines. But we'll do whatever we must to win. Goddamn. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. <laughs> I like how they do the quotations, but they've only got three fingers, so it goes like that. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, 
She can do whatever she wants. Jeez. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Quirian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Pretty awesome. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I'm so sus about the Quarians right now. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. Mr. Kunesh, we've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have hull braces. Life support failing. Ron, the Kunesh is getting swarmed by death fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Okay. Right. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Get than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. Hmm. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Hmm. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Hmm. I don't want to say that. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. Okay, I understand. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Okay, that's okay. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Oh, okay. We've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Thank you. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. Oh, good. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Damn. Commander. The cure. Malin Heplorn. Commander Shepard, I've just heard the news you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solus to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to Clan Werelock and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, Malon Heplon. Okay. That was really awesome. And we did it. A vital depot has gone silent, leaving Allied fleets short on desperately needed fuel. Investigate the depot and get it operational again. Okay, that seems like a small one I can do now. But let me speak to... Garrus. I'll see if I can just call them to my room. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> That's the correct door. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I can invite Tally. But I'll see. I want to invite Garrus too, but <laughs> can't. So maybe I have to go to him. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. I understand. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. 
And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because yeah, of you. Yeah, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. Oh. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. What would Shepard do? That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Oh, poor Tally. Space hamster. Hey, bud. Me. <laughs> I can't choose who. I, hey, there's the chessboard. Choose who I invite up. Let's go speak to Garrus. He would be in... I think he's in the crew deck? I believe. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. Aww. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Threshamaws. <laughs> what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. <laughs> with you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. No. <laughs> We should play poker sometime. <laughs> anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calories. <laughs> How you doing, babe? Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. <laughs> still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some. And I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. Well, I'm not course. sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? You will. But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. Hmm. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Mm. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Yeah. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. You're an amazing Maybe. leader. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. Mm. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. That's true. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted <laughs> dictators every now and then. <laughs> they get they don't done. feel the stress. They don't give a damn about the consequences. Yeah. yeah. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. 
the ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there. Yeah, it's hard. Are we up for that? Are you? Oof. If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there. <laughs> Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, <laughs> well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. <laughs> Not right now. God dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not right now. Okay. I'm going to leave this episode here as well. I really hope you all enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we'll continue this journey in the next one. Bye.